Hello there and welcome to another one of these Lexical Lab One Minute English videos. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com to find out more about our online courses. The other day I ran into one of my neighbours, uh, a guy who's about 10 years older than me. And we get on quite well, so we stopped for a little chat. I asked how he was doing and how he'd been, and he said he was fine, but he was recovering from having had his grandchildren stay with them for the first time on their own over the Easter holidays. Apparently, my neighbour's children, um, the grandkids' parents, had dumped the grandchildren with the grandparents for a week and then buggered off for a week on holiday, child-free, blissfully happy. And apparently, this had been the first time that my neighbour had had the grandchildren on his own, with his wife, on their own, um, ever. And the kids are six and four, so I asked how that had been, how he'd managed, and he said basically it was a real joy, although he had been glad to hand the kids back at the end of the week, because sometimes they could be a real handful. If you describe people, especially children, as being a real handful, you mean they're difficult to manage or control. Uh, as he said, trying to get both of them together to go out of the house at the same time. It's a bit like herding cats. You often hear teachers of young children or child minders say things like, yeah, her oldest son is fine, but the little one, whew, he's a real handful. Interestingly, it's also often used in football commentary or discussion about football, particularly to describe attacking players like strikers or wingers. So you often hear things like, oh, Bukayo Saka was a real handful all day. He's very difficult for the defence to deal with. He kept the defence busy all afternoon. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Please share it with your friends, your students, your colleagues, any football fans in your life. And in the, in the comment section below, we'd love to see examples of how you might use a real handful.